In this tutorial, we will create a particle logo animation in After Effects. For this, we'll be using a particular plugin from Trapcode. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to name it Logo 1920 by 1080 and click OK. Then drag your logo to the timeline using Instagram logo. Then hit S for scale and adjust the scale if needed. I'm going to set mine to 50%, so it's roughly at this size. Then create another composition by clicking here. Let's name this logo underscore alpha. Click OK. Then drag the logo composition to the timeline. Select the shape tool and more specifically the rectangle tool. Make sure you're not selecting the logo. Then set fill color to solid color. The actual color doesn't matter. Then stroke to none. Then make sure you're not selecting the logo comp and double click the rectangle tool that create a shape size of our composition and drag it up above the logo. Now let's search for turbulent displays and effects and presets. Let's add this to the shape layer. Set complexity all the way to 10 and size to 75. Then press P for position and create a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline at the point that the shape is above our logo. Let's move to say 5 seconds forward and drag this shape until it covers an entire logo. Then we need to toggle switch the mode here. So click on that until you see the track mat options and set logo's track mat to alpha mat. And this will be our logo reveal. Then we'll right click the shape layer and select pre-compose. And let's name this turbulent underscore shape to stay organized. We'll be dealing with a lot of layers here, so just keep yourself organized. Now let's move back to the project space and create another composition. And let's call this one logo underscore invert. And again, drag the logo composition here and also drag the turbulent shape above it. And this time set track mat to alpha inverted mat. And this will be our logo vanish. Let's go ahead and create another composition. Let's call this logo underscore stripe. Yep, that's the name I came up with. Click OK. And here, drag the logo alpha to the timeline. Select it and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now we need to drag the bottom logo five frames back. Just select it and drag it carefully five frames back. I want to do that. Select the track mat of it to alpha inverted mat. And this will be our logo stripe. But we can see the outline that is a bit of an unnecessary. Let's get rid of it by adding simple choker set for in effects and presets and add it to the top lego alpha and set choker mat to minus two and that'll get rid of it let's go back to the project space once again create another composition and call this one emitter click ok drag the logo stripe composition we've just created and also drag the turbulent shape above it set track map of the logo stripe to alpha inverted mat this is done so that the particles stop emitting up to some time otherwise will keep emitting on the sides and of course you don't want that. Let's create another composition. Name this one particles. We're getting closer. Drag the emitter composition we've just created. And we need to make a 3D. Let's click on the toggle switch modes and make a 3D so that the particles can emit from it. Let's right click new solid and name this one particles. We're almost there. Let's search for particular in effects and presets and add this to the particles layer. Let's adjust the settings, open up emitter drop down. For the emitter type, choose layer, and then click the layer emitter drop down, and for the layer, choose the emitter. We will not be able to see particles just yet uh, because we need to increase the number of particles. Let's set particles per second to 500,000. Yeah, that's really high, but that's the way to do it. Let's set emitter size Z to 0, and also velocity to 25. Let's open up particle settings, click the drop down, set live to 2 seconds, then sphere feather to 0, set size to 6, size random all the way to 100, then click the drop down for size over life, click on the preset, and select this preset that will be diminishing the size of our particles over time. Let's scroll down to the next tab, open up shading. And set a shadow light for main and shadow light for arcs both to on. That will give our particles a nice shade, as you can see. Alright, let's close that up and move over to the physics settings. Open the drop down, open the air, and we need turbulent field. Open that up and set effect position to 300. And that's all about what we need here. Let's uh, move over to the next tab. That will be rendering. Let's open motion blur. And for the motion blur, set it to on. And this will make the preview extremely slow and something that I would suggest you to do is set the acceleration to GPU and depending on your system that might help out with the previews. But either way you'll get really slow so you might want to drop the resolution to half. Once you're happy with how the particles look we can proceed to adding more effects. 
Let's close that up and search for CC Vector Blur in Effects and Presets at this the Particles layer. Set Type to Perpendicular, Set Amount to 15 and Map Softness to 20. Then let's search for Sharpen, also add this to the Particles layer. And Set Amount to 100 and let's add Glow, the good old Stylized Glow. Add this to the Particles layer. Set Glow Radius to 50. And let's add the glow to emitter as well, emitter layer. Add the glow and set glow radius to 20 and glow intensity to 2. And we can see that this is slowly coming together. Let's go back to the project space and let's create a new composition. And let's name it animation. Click OK. Drag the particles composition to the timeline. Now let's now create the floor. For that, let's right click new solid and let's call this floor. Now search for Fractal Noise in Effects and Presets. Add the Fractal Noise to the Floor Solid layer. Make it 3D by clicking here. Then press R for Rotation. And set X Rotation to minus 90. Then drag on the this blue Z handle and place it below the logo. Also you might want to hit S for Scale in order to you know, cover up the bottom part of the screen. Adjust the scale if needed and you know further adjust the position of it. And once you're happy with the position of it, let's adjust the texture. Set noise type to block. Set contrast to 200 and slightly decrease the brightness to maybe minus 20. And set complexity to 3 and that should give you a nice amount of blocks. Once you're happy with how the fractal noise pattern looks, right click the floor, select pre-compose. Make sure removal attributes is selected and then click OK. Then place the floor below the particles layer and you can go ahead and hide it because you don't need to actually see it. Now let's select the particles layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Rename the bottom one to Reflection. Then right click the Reflection layer. Go to Transform and select Flip Vertical. That'll make the logo upside down. And then you can just drag on it and place it below the main logo. And we're almost there. One thing we need to do is go back to the particles composition. Open that up. Then open the project space and drag the logo invert below all the layers here and so now we have a vanishing logo let's go back to the animation layer select the reflection and adjust the position of it so now you can be more precise since this is how it will look in the final version you can even make the floor visible to better adjust the position of your reflection and once you're done adjusting it just hide back the floor and select the reflection layer press t for opacity Let's set opacity to 75% so it, we can create a bit of a contrast between the layers. Then hit S for scale and check uniform scaling and set scale to minus 75 for the Y. So we can create a fake 3D perspective here. And again, adjust the floor as needed. Then right click in the empty space, new adjustment layer. Place the adjustment layer between the particles and reflection layers. Then go to effects and presets, search for compound blur and add it to the adjustment layer. For the blur layer, select the floor and now you can see the textures of our floor on our reflection. The high value you put for the maximum blur, the more texture you'll see. So you can play around with it on your own. I'll set mine to 100. Now let's search for a very interesting effect called CC Glass and add this to the adjustment layer. Open up surface and bump map, set it to floor, set softness to 0, decrease the height to maybe 10 and also decrease the displacement. I'll set mine to 50, but of course you can play around with it on your own and find what you like better. As you can see, CC Glass gives our floor a more textury look. But one thing I don't like about this is that the reflection is clearly visible. So let's add to Direction of Blur to it. Search for Direction of Blur in Effects and Presets and add this to the uh, reflection layer. Then set Direction to 90 degrees and Blur Length to 30. And now our reflection is a bit washed, therefore looking more like an actual reflection. Let's now make our particles and reflection layers, both 3D layers. Then right click in the empty space, new camera, select 28mm camera and turn off enable depth of field, then click OK. Then select the camera and press P for position. Move the playhead at the beginning of your timeline. Set Z position to minus 1500. Then click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Move to 7 seconds and set Z position to minus 1100. That'll create a smooth and slow zoom animation toward our logo. But as you can see the floor is not moving and in order to fix that we need to select the camera, press Ctrl Z to copy it. Then open up the floor 
Make sure you are at the beginning of the composition and press Ctrl V to paste it here. And now you can see that the floor will be also zooming in. We can now add a background. Let's right click, new solid, name it BG, click OK. Place it below all the layers then go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp. Add it to the BG layer. Let's click on the swap color so the dark uh, black color is at the bottom. Select the start color and let's choose something from our logo. So maybe this shade and make it really, really dark. Click OK and also set ramp scatter to 150 to minimize the amount of color banding. Let's now preview our logo animation and I'm speeding it up like crazy. So if you try to do the same, it'll probably be really slow for you. Then place the blue playhead 7 seconds and press N to bring out the composition endpoint. Then right click, select trim comb to work area. Now let's preview it again with the original speed. And this here is our particle logo animation inside of After Effects using a particular plugin from Trapcode. If you found this tutorial useful and enjoyed it, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you for watching, keep creating, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, peace out.